Well, you girls, I have to tell you, I went to my first white coat ceremony a couple months ago. It was yours. And I was so impressed with, like, not only, like, watching young people, young talent become, like, you know, on their journey towards becoming successful, but also seeing the amount of diversity that was in that room. It was fantastic. Uh, and I think the head of your department said that this was the most diverse group of um, entries that they had to the medical school. I also was like really, I was pleasantly surprised with that. I don't know if you were, because like, oh yeah. when everyone was like kind of going up onto the stage, like it was like a really nice feeling to see yeah. so many people of color. Like it was, it was honestly kind of like overwhelming at first, because like, unfortunately, like we don't always get to see that. So it was kind of nice to see that my class was so diverse. So I like that. So what's interesting about your class composition is that mine is not as diverse. For now, apparently has really put a lot of effort into like diversifying its student body. Um, so my class is supposed to be like one of the most diverse classes that Cornell has had in years. Um, there are 10 students of color <laughs> out, of, wow. out of 106, so about 10%, um, which is high for Cornell, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, I mean, but honestly, if they're moving in that direction, then we can only hope that they can continue to move in that direction and like diversify the university. There's only like what, two, two to three percent of doctors are African American, period. And just like having that Haitian doctor in Flushing, Queens, like, just very, it was a godsend. I want to be someone like that for my future. That's awesome. Like, so I, I had to fulfill a bunch of health requirements. You know, we all did before we started school. And I waited until I got to school to do it at Student Health. And um, the primary care physician there is Puerto Rican. And I, I, I was talking about it with my mom. I think that's the first time in my whole life that I've ever had a physician of color. And just my whole talk with him was amazing. Like, he talked to me about, it wasn't just like, mm, height and weight, like, do you drink, do you smoke? It was more just like, oh, are you feeling comfortable in your class? Like, I know you're surrounded by people that don't necessarily look like you or have the same, like, upbringing that you might have had. Um, so, I don't know, I just felt, like, connected with him on a way different level than I've ever connected with any position I've ever had. So, that just shows how important it is to have more, like, positions of color. Those optics are so important.